Well, as far as the draw is concerned, uh, virtually all matches today are from the bottom half of the draw. And we can see that the winner of the match that we're about to watch will play against Busanan Ongbangarangpan of Thailand, who won this India Open title two years ago. So Mia Blickfeldt's waiting centre stage to be called on to court. The 26-year-old from Solro a beach on the east coast of the island of Zealand. She's making her third appearance here at the India Open. She was a quarter-finalist actually five years ago when she lost out to India's very own Pusala Venkata Sindhu in the quarter-final stage. Last year, she lost in the first round, so she'll be hoping to go uh, better than that. Uh, but her opponent, it is a tall order because this is the two-time former world champion, Akane Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi, who lost in the final a year ago to Anse Young of a career, lost in three thrilling games. So for Akane Yamaguchi, it's a fourth appearance at the India Open. She was also a semi-finalist, incidentally, seven years ago. 2017, lost out to Carolina Marin. Carolina Marin, incidentally, was the number five seed here and sadly had to pull out because she's not been at all well. Well, if you're a mere Blickfeld fan, that's a little ominous, isn't it? This will be the tenth meeting between these two players and uh, Mia Blickfeld felt has not won Sorry. once she has three times been to three games though against Akane Yamaguchi the last time they met as you saw was in the Malaysian Masters last year a 500 event and it was the second round of the Malaysia Masters so Mia Blickfeld as I was telling you 26 years of age she's a tall Athlete, I have her down at 174, which is five foot eight and a half. She went down three places in the world ranking, uh, published yesterday, uh, but did spend a total of four weeks across two different spells at number 11 in the world. Two finals last year the Swiss Open, where she lost in the final to Chochu Wong of Thailand. And the European Games, where she was defending champion, lost in Poland at the European Games last year to Carolina Marin. So to Akane Yamaguchi, who is also 26 years of age from Katsuyama City in Fukui. And she, like her opponent, actually went down on the world rankings published yesterday, down to number four. A former world number one, a total of 74 weeks across four different spells. And Akane Yamaguchi is making a return from injury. She got injured, injured her foot really quite uh, badly in the women's team competition of the Asian Games in Hangzhou last year. So her last individual tournament of 2023 was the Hong Kong Open, uh, where she won the title beating Zhang Yiman. In fact, last year, as we look at our court officials from India, uh, both of them incidentally from India, both the umpire and the service judge, Yamaguchi five titles last year from eight finals. So obviously lost three finals last year and the first final that she lost was this one, the Indian Open. I didn't catch who won the toss of the coin and who chose what. Denmark. 
So the two-time former world champion, Akane Yamaguchi, the number three seed here at the India Open uh, this year, getting this first round match underway against Mia Blickfeldt and if Denmark that's going just wide. Now, obviously, Steen, you've had the benefits of watching the three previous matches. Just uh, tell me a little bit about the drift in this arena. Yeah, just as uncertain on the drift as it was early on uh, last week, I thought initially that Kamaguchi was uh, playing with the drift, but following the last women's doubles, where I could see that there was much more possible to kill the attack from the uh, opposite One. side of the really coming down. Yesterday, the players' comments were that it was slow playing conditions, but there was almost no drift. Um, so I, I, don't, I don't have a really good read on it yet. Okay. I have two different reads and points in different directions. Well, it is very cold conditions here in Delhi. Steen, I can tell you, is wrapped up in a blanket yeah. and his big overcoat. Oh, Wait, that's fantastic. great. Retrieval. Great reactions from Akane Yamaguchi. And that's what you're facing when you're playing uh, Yamaguchi, and it's, it's so tough uh, for uh, uh, mental-wise to uh, accept that you basically played a beautiful rally, but you lost it anyway. Yeah. And that's it. Almost certainly is because of Kane Yamaguchi. You and I know that she's got wonderful Three. retrieving yeah. capabilities. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. You see there, she almost gets that back from basically only a racket over the floor. Oh, that's a super shot. here in the opening of the match that is that um, we've got plays in the clock time coaching uh, back in Denmark so uh, there might be more bias than uh, normally Five. but on the other hand um, could perhaps also uh, be a little bit harsher uh, normally if, uh, if it goes south you've been harsh Steen never no <laughs> doesn't look like Mia Blickfeld is playing with the drift because she was Three. really pushing it Three. when I saw it. Yeah. After that. I agree. Of course, no air condition here, uh, obviously. <laughs> no need to, no. to bring down the temperature even more. A few heaters would be nice, I think. <laughs> yeah. Three. But um, good, but, but, but slow playing conditions. Oh, this is a very good start by Blickfeld, isn't it? It is. Three. Uh, it's interesting to see. Um, I didn't get to see any of Yamaguchi's matches in, in Malaysia, but that was not her preferred playing conditions. Not anyway, fast conditions. No. I mean, she, it's not like she can't play in it, but it's not preferred. So, interesting to see where she is here in her comeback um, tournaments. Yeah, I didn't get to see any women's singles and matches last week, Steen, until the final. No. Just wide. Yeah. Difficult shot. She got a little bit too close to it, Blickfield. And it's very difficult when you've got 
slow playing conditions to get out of trouble in yeah. those deep back boxes, deep corners. Yeah, she's had a, the desired effect yet again with the hold and push from the net. Nicely done from the Dane. before but with Akane Yamaguchi she's so fast she's got such good retrieving capabilities that we almost overlook what wonderful skills she's got too yeah, she's got excellent technical skills it's, it's a little bit easier to see on players like Tansu Ying and uh, Rachin Aginton and so on because they have big, bigger uh, swings but here it's just super efficient and there's so many deceptions on it. Yeah. yeah. Good shot. And Gucci has played well in the last three rallies. Now just one point the deficit. That's lovely, lovely uh, sliced shot there. Stop it, stop it. Stops before it reaches uh, Yamaguchi. That's sometimes really difficult if you have to take a little step forward at the same time as going to the side. You didn't like the idea? No, I think yeah, she was a bit too much under pressure. I, I would have preferred just a neutralizing shot into the court. Here it comes. Yamaguchi's going to get to that. And then there's going to be a lot of court to cover for Blickle. Just long, and it means that Mia Blickle goes to the mid game interval with a two point advantage here in the opening game against the number three seed, Okane Yamaguchi. Point advantage for the day, Mia Blickfeld. The game in full of this opening game. Yeah, well played. Yeah, got good spotted. Um, that the chance is going to occur on the front court there by Blickfeld. Was a little bit under pressure. That shot was good, and then that move was um, brilliant. 
I don't suppose you heard anything that Kenneth Jonasson was saying, did you, Steve? I, I didn't. Um, first of all, the camera was on uh, the Japanese uh, coaching and uh, we had some technical uh, problems here. I, I really uh, fear tampering with any of the buttons on our gear <laughs> to uh, listen in. Well, they're the Japanese coaches in the bedroom on the right, on the top of the singles player. And is that uh, Ishimoto, Hashimoto? Yeah, I think it could be. Yurokatsu, it is. He's a former champion here. He won the title, men's doubles title in 2011. There's that one you didn't really like again, Steve. Let you see why? She was more <laughs> off balance that time. Yeah, she was. Yeah. But I think Lickfeld has got to go for some of her shots because I don't see that just playing a, a steady game will beat Akane Yamaguchi. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's a super shot. I think that's what I... She's found uh, a really good balance most of the uh, first game at Mia Blickfeld. I think towards the um, interval, there was um, a patch of four or five points where she became too passive and played too much back to Akane Yamaguchi on the back court. And if you do that, then you are getting under more and more pressure. So it's super important to break out of that pressure early. singles title here at the India Open. In fact, it's the only discipline where Japanese players have not won a title. Oh, Gucci's got to be their best bet to change that statistic this year. So back level. Blickfeld needs a bit of um, cross attack from the backhand side to keep the forehand open. Oh, that's just wide by a whisker. And so for the first time since she led one love in this match, Yamaguchi goes back into the lead. as well that short yeah well constructed rally from Blickfeld. 15 14 It's not like you fall behind or anything. It's the very shot.
Good shot. Perfect yeah. play. That's exactly that break off shot or neutralizing shot. It actually became a bit of an attacking shot because it was uh, really close to the line. But that's the shot that sort of neutralizes Kanye Maguchi's uh, attack or uh, initiative from the backcourt. Oh, well, scramble back from me a bit from initially. Look at this dive here. And up again so quickly. Yeah, I guess the floor is pretty cold here in, <laughs> in the arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to stay down there for too long, do you? shows that she's been out of competition play for quite some while. Of course, she did play last week, lost in the quarter-final as defending champion at the Malaysian Open Super 1000, lost to Jan Yu Man. I totally agree that, that the uh, points you normally don't get off the other good chip. Chip points. Yep. It's a beauty. Lovely disguise. Exception. And two points away from this opening game, Mia Blickfeld. One of the longer rallies, um, the way I saw it. In fact, the longest steam. Execution could have been very nice. So, two game point opportunities for Mia Blickfeld against Akane Yamaguchi. Gucci has got a grip on you and you're under pressure. 
and the more you just play back to the back line, the more you get under pressure. You very rarely win one of these when, uh, if you don't do anything active yourself. <laughs> So one game in points, brilliantly saved by Akane Yamaguchi. points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Will it be third time lucky? Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nick Felt. Oh, fantastic. Oh, 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 gets that back. Yeah. That's a good net shot. Yeah, two of them that she got back, yeah. but and very few other players would have been able to retrieve. Game point number three. For the big fight against the number three seed. Self. We had a deep in discussion with Japanese coaches about what they're going to advise in the two-minute timeout between first and second game. 
I'm guessing part of that will depend on whether she wins or loses this <laughs> opening game. <laughs> Turn. shuttle back. I'm assuming you taught her those dives at the next thing. Seed, the Kani Yamaguchi. Short, yeah, indeed it is. Having survived four game points in the opening game, the Kani Yamaguchi converts on her third game point opportunity. Taking the opening game against Mia Blickfeld, 26-24 in 28 minutes. Det er mest for, at vi skal få spillet en hel ned, ellers så løber hun til sidst. Du ved kun her fra bag, fra det, der sker for din baglinje af. Giver det mening? Så er den her svære balance, som jeg sørger for at få bolden op over hende. Det 
Timeout. Second game. Love on. Flight. To one game to the good, Dukane Yamaguchi. 26 24, the opening game against Mia Blitko, having survived one love. four important opportunities. Now, Steen, I just checked, and indeed, that is Hirokatsu Hashimoto yeah. on the coaching bench. It's good to see, isn't it? All my players and coaching and in different Love. disciplines, too. Yeah, I think he's the club coach of um, Takami Yamaguchi. She's called a fault. For what? Love. Well, if like it touch the net, the umpire says, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. Yeah, Blickfeld called a fault. Yeah, Blickfeld was called a fault. I'm not sure we're going to see it again. That's a pity. I didn't think she was anywhere near it. Still, no, the umpire's in a better position to see than I am. One, three. Good job. Four, one. Oh, that's a lovely point. Fantastic, and pace has gone up, so uh, Dickfield needs to follow suit. One. Yeah, totally deceived by it. Yeah. Stop it, stop it. Two. Well, no Dane has ever been in the final of the women's singles discipline here at the India Open. In fact, only one player representing Europe has ever won a title here in women's singles like this, and that was Pi Hong Yang 15 years ago. Mm. Six, two. Oh, needs to be careful here. Yeah. Things are running away from her a little too quickly. Totally. And she's not finding the right um, level between um, being uh, a little too passive and a little bit too aggressive. Touch by Yamaguchi there. She's had trouble with that shot. Suddenly she plays it to perfection. That's right. So, see that again. It was close, I think. Wow. Surprised she didn't challenge. Yeah. Beautiful. The problem is already after the first clear, the blick though just clears back. And um, that sort of uh, maintains uh, her in a defensive position because of the beautiful deceptions of Akane Maguchi. Oh, my God. 
Oh, oh my goodness. There's almost a Lee Shaw smash there, backhand. There, she's won the rally. That's good fighting spirit Stop from Mia Blickfeld. Challenging that. Miyagi the first challenge of this match. Out. I think I've worked out the British thing. Yeah. I think it's slower playing from Yamaguchi's side of the court, from the far side of the court, towards me, Blakedog. Yeah, and that was my initial um, read of the day. Good challenge. No, nope. bad challenge, it was split yeah, kind of challenge. It was indeed. So the umpire got it, uh, the line judge got it absolutely right. Missed it. Oh. <laughs> First down her back and then the forehand. And it's been a while since uh, Blakeford was successful in putting pressure on that uh, deep forehand corner. She's still persisting with it though. Nice. Stop it, stop it. Take it. Ten. skills that Yamaguchi has got because she was way off balance when she played that final drop but she played it to perfection so 11-6 in the second game having already won the first number three seed Yamaguchi leads against Blickfeld Of course, we couldn't hear anything that Kate Donaldson was saying there. 
16, no. so I'm, I'm interested. What would you have said to me if it felt? Obviously, you know her well. Yeah. You were saying earlier she plays for your club. I would have said that um, uh, she needs to uh, take control of the rally uh, as early as possible, preferably from the service return or from the um, third shot. When she's serving herself, it's super important that she's uh, alert. She's got to be 60-40 uh, up in the rally because uh, Akane Yamaguchi is playing faster and with more disguises in the basic game than Blickfeld does. So if there's too much basic game, Yamaguchi will win. And she will win convincingly, so Blickfeld's got to... So we're, we don't pay any attention to the scoreboard at the back of the court there. It's to the right of the back of the court. We really are correct. That's well done. And that was exactly so what, I, what I meant. Blickford's got to push her shots a little bit more than she perhaps feels that she's um, comfortable with. But uh, at some point, you've you, you got to do it. You've got to play with a, a trajectory that's better. She's wrong on this, she's got no challenges left. Yeah, I'm almost certain that's it. It didn't look on I have to confess. Maybe a, an emotional challenge. So, yeah. once again, looking up a five-point like. cushion. Which is what she had at 7-2, 8-3. And eleven six. Too bad that, Yamaguchi. Nice.
back home Sorry, side. Yeah. Well, that's a bit of a run for him. Could be a bit for him. 11, 16. Yes, he's going to make a move. Soon, if she's too uh, close to the side up. That's not helping her cause. Stop it, over. 17, 11. She's not uh, that sharp at the moment, but that's understandable 17. coming back from injury. It is. I was just thinking as Yamaguchi is closing down most of the shots that Blickfeld has had success with uh, previously, maybe it's time to uh, try and give her some extra time. It seems like uh, mistakes could come from uh, the Japanese 13. racket when she's got too much time to 17. think. Another one drops in. Yeah, well, there's no challenge possibility. No. 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 She's used up both her challenges. 18. But I think that was the correct ball by the line jump anyway. Yeah, I think so too. And supports a read on the drift jump. points away from the place in the second round, Yamaguchi. And he was the winner from two years ago. Nice, make that one point away. 20, match point, 30. Well, I suspected at the time the open game was very, very important for Blitko. Block. 26, 24, 21, 13 in the margin of the Cunning Amaguchi's victory over Mia Blickfox of Denmark. Match won by Akane Yamaguchi. 26, 24, 21, 13. A match lasting 48 minutes. And a wonderful opening game. Through to the second round where she will play against Bhutan and Bangalore. Uh, and the 2022 winner of the singles title here. So confirmation of the score, the numbers we see to Kani Yamaguchi, 26-24, 21-23. And safely through to the second round.
Welcome back uh, to day two of competition here at the Yonex Sunrise India Open for 2024. After the women's singles, we turn our attention to men's doubles and the former world champions and beaten finalists last year, Aaron Char and Sawi 